hi everybody welcome back to my channel um i today i wanted to share um one of my favorite things to make which is uh which are bows and these bows are the maggie home sweet story collection and they have there's glue on it um these little sticky pieces on the back so I usually just take them off when I'm going to make uh, charms. Okay. I didn't really do a great job of making these bows. But so now I'm just going to use, I may or may not use these, these are kind of big. For, I will link everything that I use below. They're kind of big for this, so I think I'm gonna get some of the other lobster claws that I have. So I have some of these, and I just don't remember the size of these, but I'll link it below. And I think this is better for these. I'm gonna take some eye pens. Well, I may or may not need these, so just in case. And then I have my um, jump rings, which I need a bigger jump ring. These are nine millimeter jump rings um, because uh, it's a bit bigger for the bow, but I don't thinking that I'm going to need a bigger one than that. And I don't really have one. Let me just see how this goes with this one. So you want to use your flat nose pliers. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the jump ring. And then I'm going to try to actually um, put it in the bow without breaking it open. But I don't know if this is going to work because the jump ring is a bit small, but it worked out. So here's that. And I'm going to close the jump ring. gonna do is I'm gonna put this like open piece into the center of the bow to get more security so it's how it looks like I think I am gonna add a smaller jump ring I have the smaller ones these are five or six millimeter I keep making the mistake on that one so I will link it below I don't know why I keep forgetting what size these are so I'm just gonna grab a few take it out open the jump ring add it into it right there and then add the lobster clasp and there it is So this is how it looks so far. I might add something to the bottom of it, not sure yet. Okay, so after looking, I decided that I was just going to use this little tassel. And I'm just going to add it to the bottom of the charm so it would go like this so I'm gonna get another nine millimeter jump ring so I recommend these said they're so small that the nine millimeter works fine but you can also use a bigger size okay so I have this one here So 
go ahead and open it. Got it on here. I was thinking about putting a little charm next to it. I don't know what you guys think. I'm just gonna do it. This is the one from the Key to My Heart three piece char uh, charm set that I have. It turned out really cute like that. So I'm gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna add this to the bottom of um, the bow. Okay, so I finally got it in there. I don't know if you can really see that. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Not sure if I'm gonna add something to the back of this bow because it looks a little like it wants to, um, you know, fall apart. I might just do what I did last time. Add a little heart to it because that's bothering me. So and I might do both sides but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. So that's cute though. Even though I'm gonna leave the other side like that and then I'm gonna just put it on one side. What I'm gonna do is um, cut another little heart and um, add it to um, both sides. So I'm gonna glue this together and then I'm going to glue it down. That way you don't see the white piece on the other side. Okay, so I just glued it and this is how it looks. So stinking cute. Um, I don't want to move it too much because it still has to dry a little bit. But So I got this side and the gold sticks out instead of a white and then I have this side so if you're interested in any of the materials I have them linked down below you can get them in my store thank you so much for being here thank you to all of the new subscribers and all the subscribers that have been with me since the beginning I appreciate it and um, I'll see you in the next video Bye.